Hey everybody, it's Glenn, back in this video. Taxi! To the cinema! Hey everybody, we're just back from seeing Iron Man 3 and like civilised people, we're going to review it over some cake. So, let's tuck in. Where did you find the time to bake such a delicious looking cake? Well, I only do about three or four YouTube videos a year, so I've got all the time in the world. Okay, so this is our third slice of Iron Man cake. So Glenn, how does this compare to the first two? Well, it's better than the second one, when I'm good the first one, but better than the final one, I it would be. I'd have to agree with that. So cake and comedy aside, Craig, how did you feel about the movie? Well, as we've not said, it was certainly better than Iron Man 2, not as good as Iron Man 1. It was very dark. In terms of darkness, though, I don't think it's a kind of... Dark Knight level no, darkness. No. Despite what the trailer wanted you to yeah, believe. Yeah, Robert Downey Jr. is still at his wisecracking best in this. Mm -hmm. So we got to really see Tony Stark dealing with um, not having these resources anymore. That's what disappointed me with the trailer is everything I liked about the Iron Man movies was kind of removed from the trailer. You know, what I liked about them was the comedy, the chemistry he has with Gwyneth Paltrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the chemistry between Gwyneth Paltrow and Harry Gordy Jr. <laughs> what is his name? Chemistry between Gwyneth Paltrow and Sammy Davis Jr. <laughs> chemistry between Gwyneth Paltrow and Robert Downey Jr. is very <laughs> Chemistry between Pepper Potts and Tony Stark is very strong in the movie as it always has been in the previous two ones. How do you feel about the character of Tony Stark in this in general? I mean, I think Harry Connick Jr. is the strongest element in the Iron Man movies. He is the Iron Man movies, you could say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that's part of the movie itself and part of the blurb that they're sort of hyping it on is it is Iron Man the suit or is Iron Man the man inside the suit? And I think mm -hmm. this movie kind of deals with that. And it also kind of strips the suit away and it gives Robert Downey Jr. time to shine. I am Patriot. Yes. Barely in the movie. Yeah, pointless. It's just an excuse to paint all the crap you've bought from the other movies, action figures and whatnot, repaint them red, white and blue and sell them as something else. For the m most part of the movie, Pepper is a kind of off-screen damsel in distress. Yep. Not much to say about Pepper Potts, to be honest, in this one, which is unfortunate because she's one of the strong points of the franchise. Pepper Potts does seem to have some kind of backstory with... The main villain in the movie which is only ever really hinted at but we never find out were they dating did she work for him did he work for her and then he calls her a genius which i think is stretching it a bit she can certainly work a diary but um i don't think she's quite up there to get into aim which brings us on to the villain <gasps> <laughs> kind of a shock no <laughs> The movie does a really huge swerve, unexpectedly. You think the Mandarin, who is the main villain, is Ben Kingsley. Um, halfway through the movie, it's not him at all. It's not, it's Mike from Neighbours, Guy Pierce. <laughs> <laughs> the Mandarin at the start of the movie, for the first half, comes across as this, as Glenn calls him... Osama Bin Mandarin. <laughs> That's right, he comes across as this... Um, terrorist presence broadcasting himself. America, you have had your time and blah, capitalist, blah, blah, blah. That's a pretty standard bad guy. But then in the middle, it turns out that it's just an actor employed to do this part. And the real bad guys are creating a false villain so that they can manipulate the world from behind the scenes. How do you think the movie fared with the villain suddenly transforming in the middle of the film. My favourite part of the movie was that twist. It's just the case of what do you do after that? Because mm -hmm. the movie halfway through suddenly deconstructs itself and totally destroys your perception of what you thought the movie was. And kind of suddenly we're lacking that villain and it's a case of what they do with the void yeah. that that leaves. I think that's where the movie kind of begins to go downhill. Yes. I, I think the thing with the swerve is, is that 
the, the idea behind the Mandarin certainly involves some intelligence on the true villain's part. But as soon as that is revealed, the true villain just becomes this... I'll get you, Iron Man! So, Mike from Neighbours, what is his big plan? Not too sure. In any case, he has Extremis, which rewrites the DNA of the human body. It essentially just creates a, a series of bad guys that have... Heat power. Shit kicked out of them. Yeah. But whatever his eventual scheme is, it all com culminates in a battle on a disused oil tanker. Lots of people jumping around, falling off of things, swinging on chains. Tony brings in his army of Iron Men. Throwing as much shit against the wall as possible yes. and hoping some of it sticks. Uh -huh. I recently watched Hansel and Gretel. <laughs> Don't know if any of you out there did. But it had a similar climax where they throw so much in, you just want the ability to press pause so you can kind of study the various, in Hansel and Gretel's case, the various kind of freaky witches they have, whereas here you want to pause and um, kind of study the various armours. There's some cool armours in there. There's there's some not so cool armours. Yeah, there's one with long arms. There's a big bulky one as well, isn't there? There is. There's kind of like... You're just the Happy Hogan, that suit. Oh yeah, oof, it's happy. Hulk Leo. Hogan, <laughs> packed on like Leo. 50 pounds since the last movie. Yeah, he's been having a lot of Iron Man cake. <laughs> <laughs> well, the kind of climax of the movie, where there's a few seconds where we're actually led to believe Gwyneth Paltrow, Pepper Potts dies. Yeah. And for a few seconds, I imagined what it would mean if she actually was dead. I mean, unfortunately, Harry Connick Jr. kind of makes a wisecrack like five seconds <laughs> after she supposedly dies. So you kind of know, well, she's not really dead or the tone would be different. It does seem they've reached a point where where else does this go with her and her relationship with Tony? Yeah, they've almost reached just that that plateau where they, can't, they can only go downwards to tragedy. Just gauging from the audience reaction, no one really seemed that bothered when she died, but the audience were actually very sad when Jarvis maybe didn't die earlier on in the movie. Or died and then didn't die. Yeah, he said, I have to go to sleep now, so... And then I think a few girls in the audience were like, Aww. And of course the after credits scene, Marvel movies have become known for them. Uh -huh. If you sit there glued to your seat while you forced to read the 12 billion names yeah, of like, people who worked on digital effects for the movie you're rewarded with. Um, basically Tony Stark lying on a sofa speaking to his therapist who we then cut to the therapist and it's uh, Bruce Banner falling asleep. I think we were expecting you know this being the beginning of Marvel's phase two something bigger, kind of overarching, yeah. taking us on to whatever's coming next. Mm -hmm. Kind of goes into the whole phase two thing. Where are, what are they going to do? Where are they going to go? And at this point, we don't know, but also you get the impression that they don't know. So the internet says that Harry Connick Jr., no, Robert Downey Robert Jr., Jr. is done contractually. Mm -hmm. Marvel Studios are saying whether it's Harry Connick Jr., Sammy Davis Jr. Gord Jr. Whoever in the role, Tony Stark will continue in the movies. And it said, actually, that was the final thing of the whole movie. Tony Stark will return. I can't imagine Avengers 2 without him. Anyway, let us know in the comments below this video what you think about the movie. If you agree, disagree with anything that we've said, as ever, comment, rate, share and subscribe. And we... Hope to see you in our next videos on our respective channels. <laughs> Bye. Bye.